You, you know, it's it's interesting. Uh, you know, I've had this uh, this ritual of sliding game plans under the door of my players for a long time, and it really started back in the '90s when I was coaching Canada's national team. And you know, we were playing opponents that we weren't very familiar with. The players weren't, so I would try to give them five or six key points to focus on that night and uh, I've just continued to do that. It's part of my preparation, did it through my NHL career and now do it here at Western and this is when we're on the road. I usually get it under their doors about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning so it's there when they, they pick it up in the morning and it's me making sure that I'm doing my job and feeling that I've provided our players with some good reasons to be successful in that. You know, the game is played on the ice between the boards and that, that doesn't change whether you're outside at Soldier Field, whether you're here in Lawson or you're on the road at an opponent's rink. The game is the game and, um, you know, we have to execute, we have to, you know, like I said, have 20 guys, uh, you know, playing their best for us to have success on Saturday. We had an alumni skate the day before and uh, I had a hard time staying up on my own feet there. So, you know, you want to look around, not just as a, as a coach, the rest of our staff and players to see, you know, what type of conditions you are. And you're just kind of looking at the ice conditions to, to see uh, if that can fit in any part of the game plan. I have a coach in the doors. Be interested if it holds up. Like the, some of the holes are patched from yesterday, but nobody skated on it, so. Who knows until we get out here, right? getting off the ice, knowing where you're going as soon as you get into it, and getting after it here. Three-point NCHC hockey game, Soldier Field. What an opportunity for you guys. Let's go after it. Here. Logistics Hockey City Classic. Let's go, get her change, get her change. that defense, Anthony Lewis, he's had a good first period, number 95, he's been pretty noticeable. Riley Barber looking for it, Cato on the point. Lucas Hafner down to make the glove save. We saw Jay Williams earlier make a big save. Lucas Hafner starting to get a little busier. So far, so good. Two on two rusher, whatever, they got a bad gap on you, get 
that guy going through and then and the guy cut to the middle. All right, get to the good ice, cut to the middle if you got a bad gap. two to one in that period to have a team more physical than us is unacceptable here our game is about being physical it's about playing deep in the offensive zone we spent too much time in our zone here let's be committed to get pucks deep and play in their zone here when we get down there we got to be stronger on the puck we got to be heavy we got to be getting pucks in the net and taking the game to them a couple of adjustments here again any neutral zone situations what we're going to do F3 is going to go here, F2 is going to post right in this area here, and we're going to have F1 up here as well. Miami, and off we go in the second period. Hopefully happy trails again as Blake Coleman driving it in. Quickly shot to center by Western Michigan. And we'll see more of this. The simple game, you get it in the neutral zone, blast it in and go after it. Second power play for Miami. Looking for their first shot on goal in the power play, and they pick a swell time. Riley Barber and Miami leads by two. Keep our feet moving, boys. Keep that focus. Pucks in the net. Let's drive on these defensemen. Points are on the table. Here the power play. Belpino shot. Skitters wide. Rebound, Miami. Another power play goal. It's Big Blake Coleman! Finishes it off, he does! The redirection wouldn't go in, but the rebound was the bone jarring hit. Created the opening. Got a lot of guys who raise the level of their game here in this certain period. Need to have it. It's a big event. We're a part of it here. If you're wearing that jersey, we expect you to play hard in the third period. Tell me now if you don't want to. Tell me now if you don't want to go out, I'll take you out of the game right now. But when we step out there, I want to see a team that's competing, battling, playing smart, getting above the puck, getting pucks in deep, and puts pressure on their net, and we'll see what happens in this hockey game. Because this kind of ice, this kind of situation, they have smiling on their bench and laughing it up and yucking at you. Let's just take a bench, keep our mouths shut, and play the game in the third period. Frank is going to be your goal leader. Let's go. Let's go over here. Let's go, bud. Third period, off we go from Soldier Field. Then Western will immediately whack it in. They gain possession, but only for a moment. it to the corner, Cato sends it up the boards. Broncos hold it in, here's Pitt right in front, shoots and scores! And Josh Pitt has his first goal since last February. And the Broncos are on the board. Been nearly a year since Josh Pitt scored, but he gets off the schneid right there and he looks up into the heavens. Four to one, Miami. Joyo. 
There took a man down, but it looked like somebody just stepped on a stick. They still fight away for the rebound. Look at Western Michigan, and they find goal again. The late comeback underway in Chicago. Looky, looky, Aiden Muir behind it this time. Miami's coaching staff is wanting to kept in that recent play. Good keeping off the face off the wrist shot. Oh, Kenny Morrison. First you keep the drive alive, and then you hit goal. We've got a one-goal hockey game late. You talked about they're going to check this for a high stick, though. They're going to see how high that stick was. Rico Blasi in Miami now find themselves in a pickle trying to protect this one goal lead. We're going to get the line, we're going to pound them, we got 45 seconds left. We got that, we get down in their zone here, we get down in their zone here. We've got Kobe, we set up in our normal power play format, all right? Our normal play power play format. Nolan, you'll be in the high middle, Kiss, you'll be at the front of the net here, all right? Four nothing against you know probably the fifth or sixth best team in the country, and some teams would have mailed it in. But uh, I, I thought we had our foot on the pedal, we gave it our best charge, and we just came up a little bit short. But I like the battle on the team. The end of the game here. All I was hearing was that Road Broncos chant up there. So our people were identifying with the kind of effort that you were putting in there at the end. We needed to be better early. There's no moral victories. There was some competing in our team there tonight.